Tiki Barber and Saquon Barkley are in a hilarious situation. Yeah. Tiki Barber, legend for the New York Giants, has come out and said some things uh, pretty disparaging about our NFL running back, especially one the caliber of Saquon Barkley. He basically said he's not an every down back, can't block or something like that, yeah. can't do this, can't do that. Although he is explosive and has upside, he's not an every down back. And if you're a running back, especially one like Saquon Barkley, who is a powerful guy, who is one of the faces of the league at this point, for somebody who is at the place you were at, at the position you were at, to say something that you know running backs would get pissed off to hear about, has to be a pretty tough situation. Saquon Barkley handled it with a lot of class. He said, listen, Tiki's a legend here, blah, blah, blah. I'll use this as motivation and keep it moving. But I would assume Saquon Barkley and Tiki Barber are not going to be going out having conversations after this. This is one of those things you bury deep inside and go, okay, fuck that guy for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And I would assume Saquon Barkley uh, is going to be able to keep it moving forward here. But that was very, very professional response by Saquon. And I guess there's nothing that should tell us that he should react any differently because that's what Saquon's been is pretty classy throughout this entire time. Yeah, um, classy by Saquon. He said the right thing, I guess. I mean, I would have had a hard time not bringing up Tiki's like 87 fumbles, but that's just me. Saquon's a bigger, bigger guy than I am. By the way, I would assume as soon as Saquon heard that, he went and was like, wait a minute, and did like a little search. Yeah. Found mm -hmm. out all those stats and was like, okay, other people will bury him for this. It's and a that's the right move, by the way. If you're Saquon Barkley, Joe Judge is trying to set a new culture over there. You've bought in. You are obviously going to be a role model in that locker room, a mentor in that locker room. To handle it the way he did, I thought was very, very big of him. Because just like you said, Diggs, I probably would have. I would have said, oh, Tiki's a legend, obviously. Now, Tiki had his faults, but he won games at the end. And he fumbled all the time. And his his media career has been, you know, his media career, but that's what I would have said if I'm Saquon Barkley, and then I would have said, but he's a legend, and I appreciate that. I would use the motivation. I would have done a little, you know, I would have done a little sawing down while answering it. Saquon just took the high road the entire time, and that's the type of guy you want on your team. But for Tiki, like, yo, take care of it. Like, like, you've been uh, yeah. in that position before, man. Like, I like Tiki, by the way. I think I've had good conversations with Tiki before. I, I think I like him in media, but, man, you've been in that position. I think that is the thing that hurts the most when you're in the game when you hear former players talk and forget how hard it is to either win games or be in the NFL. And I think that's whenever you see locker rooms and current players be like, that guy's an asshole, fuck that guy. It's also interesting that he would single him out for not being a good blocker yeah. when they have a fucking porous offensive Bingo. line that can't block anybody. It, Saquon was getting the ball and then getting tackled. I mean, that is exactly what he was doing. Like, as soon as he was getting the ball, he was getting tackled. Hey, you talked about Tiki, right? Tiki and Saquon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I read some of Tiki's comments and he tiki said like well I, I remember when i had fumbling issues a member of the press sat me down and said i'm going to write this story about your fumbling issues and i was thinking what what are you talking about i don't have fumbling issues like he said and i'm glad because he made me aware of my fumbling issues so maybe that's what i'm doing for saquon i was like do you, you didn't know that you fumbled on a consistent basis more than other running backs and you don't think saquon knows like if there's something he needs to work on it's obviously pass blocking like that's that's probably the toughest thing to pick up too when you're a rookie or not he's not a rookie but when you're a running back in the nfl of course he knows that like it's not like you're making saquon aware of something also he had 37 steelers defenders every time he touched the ball that yeah. were surrounding him i don't want to talk bad about tiki because i've actually i've had great conversations with tiki i yeah. i enjoy him in the media and i wasn't around whenever he was playing so i don't have any personal stories or anything like that but th what he did is the exact reason why a lot of players hate players that go into media. And I said this in the last hour, guys forget how hard it is to be in the NFL and how hard it is to win and how hard everything is and how, like, like I think that gets forgotten on some guys whenever they get in front of these microphones and they just start being like, well, yes, do this, yes, do this, you should do this. And, and the guys in the locker room are like, man, do you not... We're trying, dude. Like, what are you – like, these people are getting paid on the other side of the ball too. Like, relax. And I think the interesting thing about Tiki coming out and saying that if it wasn't for the media telling him about his fumbling issues, he would have never known. Gary V said it this morning on Good Morning America. True. Mm -hmm. Self-awareness is the most important thing to having success in absolutely anything. Yep. I think Saquon is a very self-aware person, and I think Saquon answered that thing perfectly – and uh, I hope it makes him better. And maybe he'll talk to Tiki again. But I would assume that's potentially a relationship that is always going to be a scarred one. I would assume that's going to be a scarred one. Yeah, that's a tough one to come back from, just like you. I think uh, you can hold that one in the back of your brain for a, a long time if you're Saquon Barkley. What do you mean? I don't have any problems with Tiki or Saquon. Not, no, neither of them. I'm saying how you hold a grudge. Like you're, you will hold a grudge for life. For life, brother. <laughs>